Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 12, Perimeter and Area, Practice Set 44. Let's recall Perimeter The sum of the lengths of all sides of a closed figure is the perimeter of that figure. So, the perimeter of a polygon is equal to sum of lengths of all sides. Therefore, perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. A square has 4 sides. So, perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side. That means, perimeter of square of side A is equal to 4A. This you have already learned in standard 6. So, just for revision, let's try to remember the perimeter of a rectangle now. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. So, perimeter of a rectangle with length L and breadth B is 2L plus 2B, where L is for length and B stands for breadth. So, using these two formulas, perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side and perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2L plus 2B, we are going to solve Practice set 44. Question number 1. If the length and breadth of a rectangle are doubled, how many times the perimeter of the old rectangle will that be of the new rectangle? So, we know the formula for perimeter of rectangle. Using that, we are going to solve this sum. Solution. Let the length of the old rectangle be L and breadth be B. Therefore, perimeter of old rectangle is equal to 2 times length plus breadth is given in bracket. Length of new rectangle is double. So, 2L and breadth will be 2B. Therefore, perimeter of new rectangle will be equal to 2 times. Instead of L, we will write 2L plus instead of B, 2B. So, that is equal to 2 times 2 length plus breadth. But 2 length plus breadth is what? Perimeter of old rectangle. So, we substitute that. So, this is equal to 2 into perimeter of old rectangle. Therefore, the perimeter of new rectangle will be twice the perimeter of old rectangle. So, what we have done? We have written the perimeter formula for old rectangle. Perimeter formula for new rectangle. Since it's twice, we have taken 2 times length and 2 times breadth. And then we have substituted the value of 2 times L plus B. We have substituted as perimeter of old rectangle. And we come to know that the perimeter of new rectangle will be twice the perimeter of old rectangle. Question number 2. If the side of a square is tripled, how many times the perimeter of the first square will that of the new square be? Now, it's a square and the sides are tripled. Let's see what will be their perimeters. Length of the, let the length of the square be A. Perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side is equal to 4A. Side of new square is equal to 3 times. So, 3 into A will be 3A. And hence the perimeter of new square will be 4 into side that is 4 into 3a. We can arrange it and write it as equal to 3 into 4a. 3 into 4a is what? The perimeter of square. So 3 into perimeter of original square. We substitute 4a as perimeter of original square. That means perimeter of new square will be 3 times the perimeter of original square. So again same thing we have done. We have written the formula for perimeter of old square and then we have written perimeter of new square by substituting side as 3 times 3a and then we have substituted this 4a as perimeter of original square and we got the answer that the perimeter of new square is 3 times the perimeter of original square. Question 3. 
given alongside is the diagram of a playground. It shows the length of its sides. Find the perimeter of the playground. Now here you can see sides are mentioned and accordingly we will find the other sides also. So let's have a look at the solution. We can see 10 meters, 15 meter, 5 meter, 15 meter. So now side AF which we have to find out. AF. It is equal to side BC, this BC plus side DE. Okay. So side AF is equal to this BC is 15. You can see. And DE is also 15. So side AF is equal to 15 plus 15, 30 meters. So we got side AF. To find perimeter, we need to find all the sides. Now we will sign, find side FE. So to find side FE, what we have to do? We will have to add AB plus CD. So AB plus CD is 10 plus 5, 15 meter. That means side FE is equal to 15 meter. Now we will write the perimeter. Perimeter of the playground is equal to sum of all sides. So add all the sides. Side AB plus side BC plus CD plus DE plus FE plus AF. So when you add, you get 10 plus 15 plus 5 plus 15 plus 15 plus 30 is equal to 90 meter. Therefore, the perimeter of the playground is 90 meter. So, first we found out the missing sides by looking at the sides opposite to it and then we added all the sides to get the perimeter of the given figure or the playground. Question 4. As shown in the figure, four napkins all of the same size were made from a square piece of cloth of length 1 meter. What length of lace will be required to trim all four sides of all the napkins? Okay. Now we have here that four napkins were made from the square piece of cloth which is 1 meter. So this one side will be okay 1 meter. So, half of it will be 0 0.5 meter. Means one side of this one square piece is 0 0.5 meter. So, if we find the length of all sides, then we will come to know for one napkin how many, how much is the less required and when we multiply by 4, because there are 4 squares made, we will come to know total length of lace that will be required. So let's look at the solution. Side of the square piece of cloth is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, side of each napkin is equal to 0 0.5 meter as I mentioned to you. Length of lace that will be required for one napkin is equal to perimeter of the napkin. So 4 into side, 4 into 0 0.5 is equal to 2 meter is the perimeter of one napkin. So one napkin will require 2 meters. So, perimeters of 4 napkins is equal to 4 into 2, 8 meters. That is, 8 meter long lace will be required to trim all 4 napkins. So, this way we have completed our practice set 44, which is based on perimeter okay, of square and rectangle. So, do write the two formulas in your notebook and practice the sums well for a better understanding. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.